Hey guys, man, Kaushik, and welcome back to the So, today in this video, we are going to learn about the hooks more in detail, and also we are going to learn how to add a screenshot to the reporter. So, of course, we are going to learn how to generate the report as well. To generate the report, it's very simple. We can have like XML format, JNIT, uh, JNIT XML, both are same. Um, JSON format as well as the HTML. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the HTML report. Okay, so just go to your cucumber.json file and then um, you can add like this one. Okay, so format and then followed by HTML. And the file name is going to be like cucumber-report.html. So it will create in the runtime. Um, just to show you, I'm going to run all our test script now. So let's go to our terminal, control J. And here I'm going to say like npm followed by test. That's it. Yeah, both the feature file completed. So totally we have like four scenarios, four passed, and 28 steps. And it took around like 26 seconds. Okay. So here you can select we got a new HTML file called cucumber dash report. So I'm going to open that in the browser, of course. So if you go here and this is my file, if I double click. So here you can select we got the report which is really uh, looking good. So here like 100% pass if there is any failure based on that it will give us the result. And it generated ago like 49 seconds ago and total duration is like 26 and the cucumber version is 9.0.1 and the node version in my machine is 20 I mean 16. Dot something 16.x and the machine is of course windows 64 but it's saying 32 which is fine I guess. Yeah. So here, first of all, we can see the feature files. So one is add to cart and second one is login out feature. So if I expand the add to cart, here you can see like we have a feature called product. Okay, the spelling is mistake, just ignore it. So we have like product test and then we have like background where we have the same. Okay, so basically just whatever you saw on your feature file, the same thing here as well. Okay. And if there is any failure, of course, the step will change to red, which is self-explanatory. I believe you can have some failure test and you can check it out. Okay. So that's very simple. Now this report is already good, but of course we can enhance this. We can add our screenshot. Like for example, let's say that once the scenario is completed, I wanted to check whether the book is really added to the um, cart or not. So of course a screenshot can help us. Let's see how to do that. Okay. It's going to be very simple actually so first of all we have to go to our um, hooks and within the hooks i'm going to modify this a little bit because in the before we are launching the chromium.launch and we are creating the page object and we are using across our um, files but that is not a efficient way of using playwright in playwright we should launch the browser only once and from the browsers we can use multiple context so browser is like your global thing which will be launched a uh, launch once and it will be in the memory but new context and new page will have like different uh, cookies and cache all those stuff right so creating browser might be memory consuming for each and every scenario so before all will be a better place to uh, create the browser context okay so here i'm going to say like function and then this one okay so i'm going to move this to the top and then followed by i'm going to in the before i'm going to get the new context okay so here i can say like browser dot new context that's going to return me the um context actually so here i can say like let context and here i can say like context equal to this one okay okay and of course i have to use the await here i have to remove the promise okay then from the context i'm going to create the new page from the new page i'm going to uh, get the page and i will set that into the page picture okay so i believe you are able to understood this now now here what we have to do we can close the page as well as we can close the context but we should close the browser after all right so after all my execution i have to close this one okay 
so this is just a best practice um, if you know playwright if you have watched all my videos probably you know this already so just a recap for you okay so here i'm going to select await then followed by browser dot close okay so that's it we are pretty much done this is the code changes i wanted to do okay now of course like headless equal to false these are like hard coded we can change this we can bring this to a configuration file or maybe we can take the values in the runtime uh, not runtime in the from the cli command line interface as well but we will do that later on let's learn the basics like what is cucumber how to do the integration how to generate the reports all the stuff then we can do the enhancement at any point so yeah that is how i do the things so yeah just follow me okay now um, this thing is done okay now what we are going to we are going to attach the snapshot for each and every uh scenario okay so for that of course i'm going to use the after hook after is nothing but your after scenario after all is like your like after all the feature files okay after is basically after a particular scenario apart from before after before all and after all also we have like um before step and then followed by after step okay so if you want to perform anything before and after you can do that after before and after step in the sense like if you go to your feature file you go to your feature file and this one right so user navigates to the application this is one step user clicks on the login this is one zone so if you one step so if you want to perform anything after each and every step you can use the before and after step hooks okay now after each and every scenario i'm going to take the screenshot okay so here i have the after so what i'll do i'll just simply make sure the close should always go at the end okay so before the close here we are going to attach the screenshot okay so it's going to be really easy so what we'll do first of all of course we'll use the page fixer dot page dot um screenshot method right so in the screenshot we can say like why is the path and i'm going to add it to like um dot slash test dash result screen okay so we got these screenshots here and then of course i have to give the file name we'll give that in a moment so this is my folder okay and of course i have to say what is the type it's going to be so i can say like type equal to um png or jpeg go with png png has like uh, lower size with great quality compared to the jpeg okay so that's it we are pretty much done and this is going to of course return me the buffer here so i can say like const um image equal to and of course the await guy okay now what we have to we have to attach this so we are getting the screenshot but we have to attach this to the reporter how to do it is very simple so first of all here we have to say like await then followed by this dot attach and then followed by we have to say like we are going to attach a um screenshot that is this particular image and the mime mime in the sense like what is the format so it's going to be like image slash png okay so that's it we are pretty much done and yeah here it's giving like a weight is does not have any effect but use it uh yeah use it nothing wrong i mean sometimes it does not give us the correct syntax but it works as it is okay so i think this should work let's go and execute and check so i'm going to run all these scenarios let's see oh uh, sorry uh, one mistake here so i'm capturing the screenshot but i'm not giving any name to it right so i have to get the name so how to get the name of course i can give something like random but i can get the scenario name okay with the help of results okay so result is basically what result is basically your uh sorry not result it's going to be your pickle pickle in the sense like it will give us some meta information about the scenario for example um here i can say like plus and then followed by pickle dot name okay so pickle dot name in the sense like it will give us the scenario name okay of course i can use the back ticks as well but yeah this is fine okay let's use the back ticks and let's make it more cleaner code 
So we are creating a folder called test result. Within that, we'll have the screenshots. Within, within that, we will have the PNG file and the name is going to be pickle.name. Pickle is nothing but uh, your scenario. Okay. So now let's go and run this. Let's see. Okay. So we got all the past scenarios. Let's go to our file explorer. So if you see here, we have a test result folder. Within that, we have screenshot and you can, here you can see like we got um three scenario screenshot actually we are supposed to get like four but we got only three okay let's go to the reporter and check so if i go to the add to cart and okay so here you can see like the attached image which is collapsed and if you click on here you can see like we got both these scenarios so what happened here is by default like uh, it is supposed to take for both the test data but it has taken for only one test data which is wrong in my understanding i guess but yeah i will see so here you can see like we have like two scenarios so you can see one attached image like this one is like login success so here login should be success and we got the same here now if i go to the next scenario uh, here so here you can select login should be failure and we got the same okay so yeah um this one is correct so for both these scenarios we are getting both screenshot which is correct but in my understanding when we have like scenario outline with examples where i have like two set of data so it it supposed to take two screenshot and attach to the reporter but unfortunately we are not getting that um uh, not sure if it's cucumber that is how it works in this version or I have done some mistake probably I will just do some research and maybe let you know in the next video okay but the concept is that's a very simple thing you just have to do like this one okay now um, classic thing like we don't want to get screenshot for every scenario we want to get if there is any failure so how to know if it's failure or not very simple again with the help of after books so here I can get like something called status not status uh, I can get the result okay so what can I do is I can simply check like um, yeah here okay so if the result equal to status dot failed then I want to do the screenshot attachment that's it okay so and here result double equals sorry my bad So if the result dot status is going to be status dot fail okay the status is basically we have to do the import make sure you have imported correctly okay so if there is going to be any failure then probably i will just add the screenshot that's it very simple thing so if you want to print the result you can do it so console dot log so i can say like result dot status yeah, and also you can get like duration message or a few other things are there you can play with that okay and so of course here now it, it will not attach any screenshot because all our tests are passing but i will just wanted to show you this print statement and show you how to work this okay so i'm going to say like npm test again let's see okay so all our tests completed and here you can see like we got the result as passed 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 if there is any failure we'll get that failure if there is any undefined step we'll get that so if you go to the status and here um, okay this is a bit tough yeah so if i give dot you can see like we have ambiguous that we discussed yesterday failed passed pending skipped undefined unknown okay so we have a lot of status yeah so that's it guys it's very simple this is how hooks cucumber hooks works and you can do the same like if you want to generate screenshot for each and every step then instead of like after you can just use the before step or after step for example let me show you very quickly the last after step 
hook and here also same the async and then uh, use the function keyword and then the curly braces close the bracket that's it we are pretty much done so i'm just going to copy this like we'll get the result and pickle in after step as well so just good and i'm just going to copy this and paste over here okay so what we are trying to do here is like after each and every step we we are going to get this screenshot okay so i'm just going to run this one more time very quickly let's see the report you can see like the browser is getting like small small bigger right so whenever the screenshot is taken it will uh, reduce the size so that is what it happening actually don't think it's a bug this is how it works okay yeah so all our test got passed and if i go to my reporter and if i open this and by the way it does not accumulate the result it always just gives us the fresh thing okay of course you can if you want to stack your reports you can create on multiple folders and you can have your file okay so if i go to that to cut and here you can see like user navigates to the application and we got this beautiful screenshot and we are getting two screenshot is it yeah actually for the scenario outlines again you can see like there is actually um um no screenshot which is wrong i guess or it might be attached to here itself okay let's go to the scenario and let's see all these steps yeah in the scenario you can see like we got so scenario outline there is uh, less screenshot actually so if i go and see and enter user the name as autony here you can see that then enter user the password as something we got the password and when user clicks on the login button then login is success and login should be success we got the same okay so that's it it's very simple if you go to this one so uh, like username should be like kaushik yeah that's it okay but for the scenario outline i think there is something mess going on here because for the scenario outline i'm not able to see all these steps i will just check the documentation once again and i will confirm that maybe in the next video yeah anyways fine so that's it for this video i hope you have understood the hooks concept and how to attach screenshot on failure as well as for each and every steps if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply and in the next upcoming videos we'll also learn few things like how to attach the uh, trace viewer how to attach the video so we are going to we are going to achieve all the playwright test run feature and of course it has like a re uh, parallel execution a rerun on failure we have all those we'll talk about those in our upcoming videos Ta -da, bye bye take care